Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Christina and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a homeschool update and talk with you a little bit about homeschooling throughout different seasons of life. If you're new here, I am a mom of five. I have experience as a public school teacher, a private school teacher and homeschooling my children ages two all the way up to 14 years old. I'm really excited about today's video because this video is a collaboration with other moms sharing about homeschooling in different seasons of life. And so I cannot wait to watch and just hear about how they're navigating the different seasons of life in regard to homeschooling. This collaboration is hosted by Yasmin from Mommy on the Move. Yasmin just has such a sweet heart and such a heart for her children and for other moms. If you don't know her, be sure to check out her channel, which I've linked down below, as well as the playlist for this collaboration. If you're new here, I would love if you would stick around. If you hit the red subscribe button and click the notifications bell, you will know when I have a new video coming out. I share all different kinds of things here on my channel from homeschooling to motherhood, day in the lives, curriculum, all sorts of different things. And I have a virtual homeschool conference that I am a part of coming up very soon. And so that is something that you might want to stick around for as well. So homeschool updates. If you're new here, I'm going to try to give you the short version of where we have been recently and then this homeschool update will be new for everyone this year as far as homeschooling goes i am teaching at a small private christian school in our community and my three-year-old is there part-time so three half days a week my first grader is attending first grade my 10 year old is attending fifth grade so i get the pleasure of teaching him because i teach fifth through eighth grade ela and then my ninth grader who's 14 was attending as an eighth grader while also homeschooling to make it a ninth grade transcript and so that came kind of at the last minute before the school year started i was teaching high school english at a local public high school that i had been at for five years i was teaching virtually the year before when we started homeschooling and so we had some major changes just about five or six months ago. We knew that it was a direction that God was leading us in. It was very clear. We prayed about it and, and all of that. Well, we've had some life changes and we just recently pulled out our 14 year old and are now fully homeschooling him for his ninth grade year. And little by little, we kind of came to the conclusion through talking through it and talking with him and things that were happening and lots and lots of prayer that that was the best decision and he is so happy and so at peace with the decision which just kind of confirms to us that it was the right decision and so our major change or our major update is that he is now back to fully homeschooling which was the plan for him next year anyway and so he's just really starting that a half a year early so to speak or he just he was doing it then kind of tried the hybrid approach and now he is back to just fully homeschooling meanwhile i just want to kind of share what that's looking like for us right now and so some of the subjects that we were doing at home some of the units that we were doing he is just going to continue on with those and um, probably just pick up the pace a little bit because that will be his core work now as opposed to supplementing to make it a ninth grade transcript. And so the way that this will work is that similar to how I did it at the end of last school year when I did have to go back in person to teach for the last two months of school, I teach the instruction portion, things that I do with him or that I just instruct him when I get out of work, I do that with him. And then all of his independent work he does on the following day. So instead of him, say, getting the instruction and then doing the work right away, sometimes he does that if he's in the mood for it, but typically he gets the instruction between like 3.30 and five o'clock, give or take. And then the following day is when he does the work associated with that lesson and then other independent work that he's just sort of doing on his own. Because for example, math is something he's completely independent with that I don't 
necessarily teach him. I oversee it, I check it, and all of those things, but it's not something I'm teaching him. The same for Japanese, like he's totally on his own with that. And so that is kind of how we do it. So if you are a working mom who wants to homeschool, or you are a work from home mom, or you're thinking about homeschooling, there are ways to do it. And that's the one thing that I think is so special about homeschooling is that it is not one size fits all. It does not have to be a situation where you are a stay at home mom homeschooling all of your kids. It has changed our family for the better forever. It has brought us closer together. It has strengthened our relationships. It has strengthened our relationships with God, both individually and as a family. And it just has opened up a whole new world of possibilities for us as a family. And so I just wanna encourage you that if you're going through a hard season of life, or you're feeling like you're going to have to make a change one way or the other, like you're not homeschooling yet, but you feel that tug to do it, but you just can't quite figure out how it's all going to work. Yes, it's important to know something's gonna work and to have a plan. But if you feel like it's in your heart to do it or that God is calling you to do it, just start to take one step at a time. Recently, when I was actually New Year's Day, I actually filmed a video that day. I did share a goals video on New Year's Day up on top of a mountain with my husband. But what wasn't in that video is what happened after the video. And when it was all done, we walked back to our car and we were sitting on the ledge and there was a wall of fog and like the scenic overlook that has the most beautiful view. There was a wall of fog and you could not see anything. And we sat there to talk and pray before we were going to leave. And my husband started to share what he felt like God was putting on his heart. And he said he felt like God was showing us that that was representative of the season that we're in right now, is that we can't see everything. We don't know everything that's beyond this step. You'd be able to see, like if you saw the fog picture that I see in my mind right now, you'd be able to see like just the next step in front of you, but you would not know what's beyond that. You couldn't see anything. And he said that what he felt like God was asking us to do is just take the step that is in front of us. Just take the step that we can see. And so that's my encouragement to you today. Maybe it's only for one person. Just take the clear step that's in front of you, even if you can't figure out all of the other details. And as you do that, you'll see the next step. God will reveal the next step to you. So I hope that encourages you. I hope that there was something in this video that you found helpful and I would love to hear about it. If you resonated with anything in this video, please let me know down in the comments below. If you're new here, introduce yourself down in the comments below. I love to get to know you guys. I love this community of moms that can just support one another and grow together and be there for each other through different seasons of life. And so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, again, I would love if you subscribed and become a part of the Rooted Home Life community, both here and over on Instagram. You can follow me there again at rooted underscore home life. Don't forget to click the playlist down below to hear from other moms and kind of how they are homeschooling throughout different seasons of life. And don't forget to check out Yasmin's channel who is hosting this collab. Thank you so much, Yasmin, for hosting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos. And until next time, stay rooted.